All right, well, how you doing today? Well, we're gonna talk about some more Mac tips for new users. Now, in my previous segment, which I'm linking this video to, I mainly focused on some upgrades to the operating system that you found in Leopard. Now, today's tips are really more of a general Mac thing, but there is one Leopard feature we're gonna talk about. Now, last time I talked about the Mac mouse and how it only has one button. Now, as soon as I posted that video, my good buddy Brandon said, wait, 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 Steve! The Mighty Mouse can be configured to hold multiple buttons and multiple clicks. And he is absolutely right. The reason why I said that the Mighty Mouse only has one button is because when you look at it, all you see is the big clickable surface and, of course, the scroll wheel. You also have the side squeeze buttons. Now, this mouse is fully configurable to have multiple click sites. However, the problem I see with this is that it's really not ergonomically set up to do that. You see, you need to hold the mouse like this. And if you use the scroll button a lot, you tend to hold the button, the mouse like this. So if you configure the sides of the mouse to do left click and right click, it really becomes uncomfortable. But there are some other options, and let me show you how that works. Simply open up your system configuration preferences menu by clicking, by clicking the, the little gearbox thing in your dock station. Go to keyboard and mouse, and of course, hold up the mouse area. Now you'll see an area of the mouse here, and you'll see that the left side goes to this area of the mouse. The right side goes to this area of the mouse, and by default, they are actually set up to be the primary clicking buttons. You can also switch that just by clicking on the drop down area to be the secondary button. So again, you can actually configure that. I like to leave mine both as primary because it makes it easier for me to click. The scroll wheel in the center is by default set up to be the dashboard. And, you know, I use the dashboard quite a bit, so usually I will leave that leave that be. However, on rare occasion, I do set it up as the secondary button or the right click. I usually always leave the side squeeze buttons as the expose all Windows application, which I will talk about in a second. So there you go. It is fully configurable and allows you lots of different options when setting up your mouse. So there you have it, lots of different ways to configure your mouse any way that you want to. I would like to see Apple put grooves on their little Mighty Mouse, because that way, at least for me, it would be a whole lot easier to use the right portions of the sensor area. Now, when we're talking about all spaces, it is an awesome, awesome feature of the Mac operating system. Uh, if you have Tiger, which is OS 10.4, you can still use this. And there's lots of different ways you can. Uh, you access it by either using the squeeze on the side of the mouse or by pushing the F9 key. Now, what is all windows? Well, the all windows functionality is a great time saver. What it does is essentially explode your desktop and allows you to see every single windowed application that is in that particular workspace. So if you still have Tiger, you only have one desktop and you can see everything that's open. Simply push the squeeze buttons and everything is brought out into play. You can slide over and select whatever application you want to is brought to the front. In addition, as I mentioned, you can push the F9 key. There you go. An outstanding feature of the Mac operating system. Now, finally, we're gonna talk about iChat AB and specifically the new additions to iChat in Leopard. Now, iChat is an AOL instant messaging and dot .Mac communication program. You can use it with the both of those services. But if you're using it as an AIM client and you have a Mac, you are in for a great, great benefit in having some awesome video chat capabilities. So here we are with the lovely and talented Sonia, a second chance around. And we're gonna be using, you know, as I said, iChat for the Mac. Now they've done some really cool enhancements to the program. First of all, in the chat window, the video chat window, you can actually access all your photo book 
uh, photo booth effects. So by just clicking the effects effects link in the lower left hand corner, you can actually go through everything and say, I want to look like a comic book, and then boom, there you are. And to Sonya, I look like I'm a comic book character. And you can, of course, do everything else that you have. My favorite effect is, of course, the, uh, the ring psychotic look um, down here that is part of the optional stuff you can download from, uh, from Mac here where you have a little delayed frame rate thing going on, but you can get rid of that and go back to normal pretty soon. The other cool thing about iChat is that they've added what is called presentation mode. So if, for example, I go on vacation, I have some slides or some pictures I want to show Sonia, I can just open up a file browser and drag in a picture, say, of, hmm, Let's say Alcatraz. So just by dragging it into the window, you get these dialog boxes. Boxes. One is send it as a file, but the bottom half is share in iChat Theater. So you let go, and we go into iChat Theater, and now Sonia should be able to see my picture, nice and easy. And you can actually drag in different pictures here and there. It's an easy way to show stuff back and forth. There you go. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. So there's Mesa Verde. Here is Balancing Rock from Arches National Park. And let's see. This is actually Tonto National Monument here in Southern Arizona with snow from last January. So there you go. Thanks a lot, Sonia. Thank you. All right, so there you have it. A few more Mac tips for you new Mac users. Have a great day. We'll see you later.